I, for one, welcome our new mycelial overlords. All right, I don't usually do these unboxing videos, but this is for science. We're actually getting somewhere. This is almost, almost like living in the 21st century. Okay, what have I got here? I've got the mystery box. This is kind of like viewer mail, but okay. They mailed it to me, but only because I paid them. But we got some serious science going on. This is really interesting, so I want to share this with you guys. So let me see if I can set this down. Do a couple different shots at the same time here. So split that open. I know I shouldn't cut the work myself, but oh my god, I'm just up. Don't look at that part. But you're thinking. What is it? Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's get a look at it. Got all of that glory. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Here's the cool part. It's not actually styrofoam. That's mushroom mycelium with a binding agent. Maybe some flour and such in there. And then it's been baked and it is a styrofoam replacement. You could maybe laminate this, make shelving out of it. Um, obviously, it's a good packaging material. There's probably some good insulation qualities there, maybe fire resistance. I don't know, but we're going to try it out. Try to grow some of our own, maybe clone some local stuff and see where this goes. The future is now, old man. I'm not implying that people should try to reverse engineer this and, you know, develop their own styrofoam replacements locally, but I got a poly pour that I found a while back that was the toughest thing I've ever seen. And I'm totally dying to clone that and see what I get here. So this, oh, there's some. I don't know. It's either aspen or the hemp stems. I can't tell which. But you can find them on YouTube. It's just the mycelium you can put in any mold. You can make a cardboard mold and you bring it out, let it colonize, and then you bake it at 200 degrees for 20, 30 minutes, and it dries out. I'll take it out of the box. So it looks like a nice big chunk of styrofoam. Not very heavy. It feels like styrofoam. If I wasn't really looking closely, I wouldn't have even probably noticed, especially with that grain like that. So how cool is that? So that's what we're going to make now. We're going to learn to start making new stuff. This is going to be the new industrial revolution, kids. This is it right here. We're going to start growing our materials instead of making them out of oil and things like that. Buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. 